Have you ever wondered what causes the tides? Well, of course, it's got something to do with the moon. But what exactly is it that causes the ocean to roll up the beach and roll back again twice a day? The tides are caused mainly by the gravitational pull of the moon. So here is the Earth, and here is the moon. Now, the gravitational force on any point on the Earth just depends on the distance between that point and the moon. That's Newton's law of gravity. Imagine the ocean surrounding the Earth and take a point on the ocean. What you'd have to do to calculate the gravitational pull would be to work out what that distance is. Or let's say we go to that point. It's further away from the moon, so the gravitational pull of the moon will be less. And again, we just have to calculate that distance. Here, we'd have to calculate that distance. So you can see that the gravitational pull of the moon on the water changes depending on where you are. Both the direction changes and the strength of the pull. The upshot of all that is that the ocean gets deformed. The shape of water gets pulled and squashed into a kind of rugby ball shape. So you get a bulge of water facing the moon. And because of the way that this difference in gravitational pull works, you get a bulge of water on the opposite side of the Earth to the moon. And these bulges here are the high tides. So today, moon is just over there, actually, somewhere close to the sun. So we're in this position, almost directly beneath the moon. And that means that we're beneath this tidal bulge. And that is why, on this beach at this moment, there's a high tide. But what about a low tide? Why does the water go back out again? Well, the tide goes out because the Earth is rotating. See. At high tide, then I am standing here on the beach beneath the tidal bulge. And the moon is just positioned in the sky over there. But if I wait six hours, give or take a bit of movement of the moon, then the Earth will have rotated. So this beach will have moved. I'll be stood here. That is low tide. So it's kind of tempting to think that it's the water that's moving. You know, it's in the language, the sea is going out. Well, it's not the tide that's going out. The tidal bulge is in the same place. What's happening is that rather than the water going away from me, I am going away from it. Water is fluid. It moves and flows. So it's easy for the moon to distort the shape of our oceans. But the moon's gravity doesn't only pull on the oceans, it pulls on our entire planet. So now at high tide, I'm standing next to that bulge of water, but I'm also stood on a bulge of rock. The, the solid earth is being deformed, stretched and squashed by the gravitational pull of the moon. So at the same time as the oceans, the whole Earth is being stretched into a rugby ball shape by the moon. But it's much harder for the moon to distort the shape of solid rock than the shape of liquid water. So the distortion is tiny. We don't even realize it's happening. But it's a different story for the moon. Because just as the moon raises tides on the Earth, the Earth raises tides on the moon. Ever since it was first formed over four billion years ago, the solid body of the moon has been stretched and squashed by the tidal forces of the Earth. If I were able to stand on the lunar surface four billion years ago, looking up at the Earth, then I would see a giant rock tide raised by the Earth's gravity on the surface of the Moon. It would have been about seven metres high. That's about as high as that dune. And as the Moon rotated, that bulge of rock would sweep across the surface of the Moon, just as the oceans sweep across the surface of our planet. So the Earth raises that tidal bulge on the Moon. But because of the Moon's rotation, that bulge is always slightly ahead 
of where the Earth is. So that meant that the Earth's gravity acted like a brake. It pulled on the bulge to slow the rotation of the Moon down. Now, over time, millions, billions of years, that meant that the Moon's rotation rate slowed. And in turn, that meant that the Moon drifted further and further away until you get to the situation we have today, where the Moon has slowed so much, the time it takes to complete one orbit is almost exactly the same as the time it takes to rotate once on its axis. So the Moon's rotation has become synchronised so that one face always stays pointing towards the Earth. And that's why we only see one face of the Moon when we look up into the night sky. Tides are caused by one of the fundamental forces in the universe, gravity. And they bend and stretch rock as well as oceans. Tides distort the shape of our entire planet and they've slowed down the rotation of our moon. So tides are much more than just the gentle roll of water up and down the beaches of the world.